welcome to Canoe the North. Today, me and Paul are on our way to Red Lake, Ontario. We've got a fly-in fishing trip booked with Show Walters Fly-In Fishing Service. We've been on the road for, how long's it been? 10 hours? Maybe a little bit more. I left at 4.30 this morning, picked Paul up at around six o'clock, and it's now about two in the afternoon, I think. And we're just at Old Woman Bay, beautiful Old Woman Bay. And we've got about another 10 hours to go. So hopefully we'll be there by one o'clock in the morning, maybe. But anyways, we'll keep on rolling. A cookie, mac and cheese bite to hold you over? Uh, no. Oh well, yeah, shout out to Paul's mom for making these meat pies for the journey. They're awesome. So you think this would go without saying? Apparently at Tim Hortons, you're not allowed to camp. These rules, man. Thank you. It's okay. Have a good day. Right on, buddy. You want with some Timbits? Yep. Eat light, feel right. Another beautiful beach on Lake Superior and only, how much further Paul? Seven hours maybe? Yeah, we got a ways to go. We'll get there. How's everything going so far? So far everything's been pretty smooth. Yeah. Yeah, we made a lot, made up a lot of ground today. Looking forward to the fishing? Yeah, hopefully it's, hopefully it's good. I want to catch some big fish. Yeah, I hope so too, buddy. I'm right there with you. Pike or lake trout, what are you more excited for? I want big pike, but I'd like to catch my first lake trout too. Okay, I'm all about the lake trout, but I love big pike. <laughs> Two extra large uh, dark roast coffees, please. Just black. So we're over 2,000 kilometers. It's three o'clock in the morning and we've made it almost almost made it we're just in ear falls a few more kilometers and we're there but it is time to get some sleep how you feel paul i'm tired i'm glad we're here I'm yeah tired. yeah shut her down hit her hard tomorrow Good morning. We made it through the night and we're on our way. So 
check in with Paul here. But definitely wasn't the best sleep I've ever had in my life. Paul looks pretty rough right now. Paul, how are you feeling, man? <laughs> Good, I'm tired. I'm ready to go in. Yeah. You? Yeah, tired. But pumped up.
this used to be my mom and dad's private cap. Oh, yeah? Yeah. yeah. And then when I bought the company out in Oh, I don't have to get wet here. Want to borrow my new boots? All right, so this is Eddie Show Walter, and we're at the uh, Pine Needle Outpost, and it's absolutely beautiful. So what are we fishing for in here, Eddie? Hey, folks, Eddie Showalter from Showalters here. Uh, just brought the guys into my Pine Needle location here, uh, one of the glacier lakes we have in this area. Uh, Going to be fantastic lake trout fishing, 30, 40, 50 a day, I would assume, if the guys can fish. Oh, yeah. we got some big <laughs> pike on uh, either end of the lake here. As you can see, probably in some of the shots, we've got fish. Look at there coming up those are lake trout coming up on the larvae here that spawned last night oh yeah uh gonna be very easy fishing beautiful location uh trout three to six pounds but we'll catch 30 40 a day in here so wow fantastic eddie yeah. well we'll see how we make out buddy yeah we'll keep in touch and uh anything happens guys i gotta go back to work now just uh, give me a holler on the in reach and we'll be uh set to go awesome thank you very much okay, eddie thank you you guys Appreciate have a good time First impressions of the cabin? It's way nicer than I expected. Yeah, it's <laughs> unreal. We're cabin out in the middle of nowhere. It is beautiful. Let me just let's do a little tour here. We'll show you. Oh. So you come in. Paul's got his little bedroom set up. I don't know if he's got his pink pillow out yet, but <laughs> just wait. That's coming, yeah. Beautiful kitchen. Look at his living room. Crazy big living room with a beautiful view. Insane. And then uh, over here, we've got my little bedroom. We've got a propane fridge here. And then the next bedroom. So this cabin would sleep. One, two, four. How many? You got four? So eight, eight people. Plus you could probably put another guy in the... You probably fit ten in here, I would say. But what a spot, man. We're gonna hit some huge lake trout. Eddie said the biggest one that's come out of here, 37 pounds, I believe. So that's pretty impressive. That's a nice fish. We're gonna go get them. Okay, we got our decent little pike on here. Oh, actually that's, Pretty decent. Not you bigger than decent.
<laughs> there he is. Uh, 11 pounds. Nice fish. Beautiful fish. Let's let him go. This kind of sandy, weedy bay here, for pike. It seems to be. It seems to be just rammed full of them. Another one? Okay, Paul thinks he's got one here. Paul's got a decent pike on board here. Say 17 pounds, Paul? 17 pounder. That's a gorgeous fish, buddy. What a beauty. Okay, let's get him back. Lake turtle of the trip. About to find out. Looks like it. It does look like it. Oh, oh they got some balls, eh? Oh, they are really laser balls. Steady. First fish on the rod. Paul's first lake trout. Gorgeous fish, Paul. Yep. A nice little lake trout here. So we just had a beautiful double header, so we, neither one of us could film, but gorgeous fish. Just another couple beautiful lake trout. So we'll get this guy back in the water. Other lake trout. So this is, uh, I don't know, we're almost at, we had two back to back double headers, plus our other little guys. So we've probably eight lake trout in the last four minutes. And we're literally trolling, I don't know, 15, 20 feet from shore. So it doesn't really get any better than this. Nice little guys, and they're feisty. I know a lot of people complain about lake trout not being great fighters, but I don't know what they're talking about. Look at these guys. Like, what do you think of them, Paul? You just caught your first one. Love them, they're addicting. Yeah. Feisty little lake trout, barely even got the line out. Fish on. Beautiful. Other lake trout, Paul. Another beautiful fish. Nice. Where you go, brother? 
So we got a uh, we got a lightning storm coming in here, so we're gonna pack up, go back to camp, clean some fish. I don't know if it, it's going to rain here. It looks like it's going to rain anyways. We got our fish filleted up. Well, maybe I'll show filleting some fish. Later, Paul's just going to go drop off some of the fish uh, remains just around the corner so they're not anywhere around our camp because we don't need any bears poking around here. We're going to fry some trout up. So what an awesome, awesome start. What did you think of the fishing today? It was way better than expected. Big fish and lots of them. Yeah, it was pretty top notch, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, big pike. What about lake trout? What would you think of them? I love them. Good fight, and hopefully they taste good too. Well, they're gonna taste good. <laughs> I promise you. I promise you. So that's day one fishing. Maybe we'll go out if it stops raining, but for right now, we're just hanging out in camp, and we're pretty tired from the drive up, so I'm not that heartbroken that we're not out there right now, but. We'll get this fish done up and I'm sure we're going to sleep like babies tonight. Paul's just looking at an old, uh, what is that, a Playboy? No, it's a... Oh, I'm, ki it? I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> it's not a Playboy, it's a, what is that, Betty Crocker magazine or something. Hold it up, show the, show the people. Woman's Day. Yeah. What is the magazine though? What happens with him on the way up? He just kept picking up random magazines. So, anyways, it's all good. Paul's first leg trout. Here we go. What do we think? The skin should just fall off. Yeah. You like it? I do. That's really good. Okay. That's good. Nice job. Cooked it perfect. Still good. We're both dog tired. We're gonna head her out again. See if we can't catch some more leg trout and maybe do some casting for pike so we'll see we can't look out it's really nice now and not go out there even though we both just want to go to bed but ready lou let's go do this Fish on, fish on. Another double header, me and Paul. A couple more beautiful lake trout. Another, feels like another nice lake trout. Another leg trunk, Paul. Cute little guy. Look how big he is. Look at that guy. Beautiful. Okay. Later. We caught quite a few uh, lake trout and pike. Awesome day. We're both really tired. We're uh, gonna head into the cabin, hang out for the rest of the evening. That's enough hay down for one day.
What's going on guys? Uh, another beautiful morning here. It's a little bit windy and choppy on the water, but we should be fine on the South Shore today. So we're gonna go, what are we starting with? Paul trolling for Lakers or? Yeah, I think we all over find the big pike. Yeah. Yeah, so that's what we'll do. Let's go get some lake trout. Finished breaking my second uh, rod of the trip here. We got another lake trout on. You just caught a nice one that we missed because we had a double header. Okay, another uh, another beautiful lake trout. <laughs> See you, buddy. fish on the stringer. Keenan's rod bent over. Another one, they're all like, we've caught countless fish now this size. Wow. Just... There you go. So we, uh, we've been trolling for lake trout most of the morning and early afternoon. Now we're coming over. We're gonna try and do a bit of pike fishing, but we just Literally heard some thunder, so might be short lived. See what we can get though. Dandy. Not bad. Look at this guy. Nice fish, Paul. Thanks. Right on, buddy. Big pike on the line. Yeah. So, that's a, a 12 pounder. Beautiful, wow. What was that? That is a beast. It's a nice fish. It's gorgeous. <laughs> okay, let's get this guy back in the water. Go a little bigger. Paul's got, we're not sure whether it's a branch or a fish on. <laughs> so we just came around this point right here. And a couple minutes ago, I had a nice fish on there that spit the hook. So maybe it's, maybe it is a fish or maybe, oh, that's a fish. Uh, oops. For the crowd, Paul. It's not big, but it's strong. You know? it's... <laughs> the willpower to survive is unreal. It's just a beautiful night for trolling out here. It's been so windy, and it hasn't been the best fishing day, but we've made do. 
caught some nice fish and it's gorgeous out right now. Winds dropped, eh, Paul? Yep. Yeah, pretty placid out right now. So enjoy the rest of the evening. It's eight o'clock, probably fish for another hour and a half. We said we were probably gonna end a little bit earlier, but it's looking like it's gonna be another late night. Paul's reeling in another fish. See what he's got here. You let me know if you want the motor stop, Paul. Another beauty, Paul. Eater. Oh, beautiful. Another decent, uh, decent fish here. Trolling along, there's a rock pile just over here. Daddy, back up. Back. Okay, that was a. Uh... What are you looking for? Oh. <laughs> nice little, uh, Nice little trout though. Yeah, good size. Okay. Where you go. Nice now. Uh, what do you want? What else you want? You want to do like a ravioli or a corn or? Let's do some corn. Okay. Beautiful. Let's go with the potatoes going on the barbecue here. Oof. Another fish ready. A little bit of corn. Okay, this is what we ended up with. Looks damn good. What are you going with, Paul? Fish taco. Fish, Fish taco. taco, nice. Secret sauce. Nice. 
Okay. You? Straight up. Just straight up, like, although that looks really damn good. I might have one after this. <laughs> after seeing that. But I might take a bit of that sauce to made up. Yeah. I'm ready. Oh. It looks good. Bit of crunch. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, I'm actually. Why did I gotta have a wrap in right here? Wow. It's nice. Is it good? It's so good. Yeah. That sauce tastes bloody good too. Okay, glad to look at What'd you put in it? Tell tell everyone what you put in your okay. sauce it's, it's secret sauce. <laughs> 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 Can't tell them. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> Not it's, till. it's really good. It's really good. Well, good morning. Another beautiful day here. Pine needle. Start the day off with a little troll. See if we can hammer a few lake trout. And a uh, fresh cup of coffee. Courtesy Paul. Alrighty, Paul's on the fish. First <laughs> fish of the day. Found one. Looks like a decent lake trip, Paul. <laughs> nice fish, buddy. That is a beauty. Gorgeous. Look at that. Another lake trip, Paul. Paul, nicely done. Yeah. Got a bit of a roll here. Bring them on. Bring them on. They're so feisty. See him spitting up the middle there, Paul? I think that is. Yeah. Just burped up a bunch of little bait fish. Daddy. This guy, he kind of got hooked in the gill a little bit. So we'll have him for lunch or dinner, but that's a beautiful fish. Fighter too. So what do you got on this morning, Paul? What are you, what are you trolling with? I believe it's a Williams white fish. It's a nice big eye on it. Oh my God, look at that. It's beautiful with the green and blue. And I've been using this moose look, copper and red. Everything seems to be working out okay this morning. Paul's absolutely been scorching me this morning, fishing. So it's really nice to actually get one on. And a nice one too. A nice one. Like you've caught, how many in a row now have you caught, Paul? I don't know, really. Like it's, it honestly, it's here. I was changing my lure to try and keep up with him. His lure was dangling over the side and he almost lost his rod from another lake trout when he wasn't even trying to catch him. So right now we're in full catch up mode, but it's just nice that we're both, well, I should say both. We're catching fish. Probably what three or four pounder? Easy. Just a gorgeous fish. Okay, get him back in. Look at that thing. Okay, 
we got a nice pike on here. Not huge, but pretty, uh, pretty thick. Best one of the day, anyways. Look at that. That is a nice fish. Don't need to zoom in much on that one. <laughs> awesome. That is beautiful. Wow. Lovely. Look at the eyes on them. They're just ancient prehistoric. Oh, very cool. <laughs> very cool. Probably getting close to we're gonna be at 30 here in no time that's that's pretty awesome beautiful right. fish ball nice what does he weigh uh between six and seven pounds Beauty yeah a decent little fish so That's, I don't know. What are we now, Paul? 30 plus. 30 plus. We're probably approaching 40. What a beautiful fish. He's smiling for you. <laughs> Very cool. Holy, Another leg trout peel and drag. <laughs> I love it. Spitting up minnows again. Yep. All these little minnows here just. They keep chucking them out every time we every time we bring one up. giant outcrops. This is probably, I don't know, how tall is that, Paul? That's got to be 100 feet in the air. Yeah. I would say, at least. And we're in almost 100 feet of water. And we're only just off, only 20 feet off the shore and 80 feet of water. So, let's see what's here. We're not expecting a lot, but there's supposed to be pictographs along here too we're looking for, but we haven't been able to find them yet. So. See what we find. I'm not sure how well this will show up on video at all, but yesterday there was quite a few lightning strikes and it looks like one of them might have started another wildfire. Yo, decent. This place is insane. Oh, that is a nice one. Just another Gorgeous, gorgeous lake trout, holy. It's just, it's honestly, it's non-stop over here, isn't it? Mm-hmm, yep. We keep catching them one after another. Hold on, weigh that baby. He's a big you one. Weigh him? Might be the record. Just under six pounds. Really? Yeah. <laughs> nice fish still. Yeah. Gorgeous. Okay. Splash. Perfect lake trout. Yep. Just hammer it out here, Paul. There you go. Okay, another beautiful pike. We just came over to the little pike hole. Paul got a dandy. I think we might have had this one on earlier yeah, and it I got away, it but that is that's a gorgeous fish, Paul. Look at that head. Holy man. Alrighty. 
Let's see him roll. There he goes. This night bite is hot, Paul. They just don't stop, do they? Oh, man. This thing feels like a whale. It's probably not even that big. But... <laughs> the drag of the boat, I can barely move him. Look at that guy. That is beauty trout. Holy man. for dinner today, Paul? Ah, uh, we're having some fresh fish battered in the shallow fryer and some baked potatoes. Yes. Bacon. We're making some fish wraps. Right on. You and did some, some broccoli. How'd you do the bacon? On the barbecue. Yeah, like a real man would, eh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be good. Those wraps you had a lot of sight look amazing, so we're gonna try and copy it, put a little bit of bacon. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. It's yeah. gonna be good. We'll see how it goes. Tired Lou. He's going for it. <laughs> oh, healthy feet of bacon. <laughs> well, yeah, you know, it's a healthy sauce. Look at that. Look at real man. Beautiful wood. thing. Big tail inside. Broccoli to go. I'm just like a boss. I feel like I'm watching a young Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> hey guys, looks really good. That's it. Dig in, Paul. Maybe a little bacon for the baked potato. sure how far the fire is away from us right now but 
I'd imagine it's moving pretty quick at the moment with how fast is the wind today? 40 knots or no sorry maybe 20 25 knots so what's that 40 kilometers an hour something like that maybe gusting a little bit more so yeah it's really smoky now holy <laughs> oh yeah definitely a bit of pipe fishing it's been hot came and found this monster nice one None of this will probably show up on camera, but the there's kind of a bit of an ash storm coming down now, eh, Paul? Yeah. 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 So the winds change direction now. It's coming. Looks, feels like maybe straight from the south. Oh, and Paul's got a fish on. Here we go. What do you got, Paul? Uh, no, it feels pretty good. Feels good. Show us what you got. Nice fish. What do you got on the queue, Paul? Uh, some Smokies. Ooh, they got a bit of cheese inside. Deadly, buddy. Okay, right on. Get some lunch going. Look at that. How's that taste, Paul? As good as it looks. Yeah, <laughs> damn good. Choppy Bay and we saw a lake trout jump in front of us. We thought we'd try our luck trolling and here we are. Another trout in the boat. If we just look inside the last lake trout we caught, its mouth was all filled with these little, they look like maybe flying ants. So they're coming up to the surface just hammering. There must be a big hatch. There must be a big hatch to these little ants. So anyways, kind of interesting. Oh, and also feeding on these guys. <laughs> Look, oh. also on Paul's Yeti lid. <laughs> nice one, buddy. Nice fish.
the calmest lake trip we've had on this trip. Did you kill it on the way in? Here I was filming Paul land his lake trout, and put it away. We got this little pike on here. Little bonus pike. Little bonus pike. Yeah. See you later, nice, bro. Nice little fish. Where you go? Paul with another nice six and a half pound pike. Beauty bite. Yeah. We're just out here cruising around on this lake right now, and my God, is it ever beautiful. Me and Paul both just agreed that even if we don't catch a fish, it's just worth being out here. It is so nice out right now. It's calm, there's no bugs. The lake is flat. We're not seeing trout jump, which that would be the icing on the cake, but Man, it's just, it's too nice. You know, just bob around here for another hour, then make dinner, it's all good. Just so nice. Lucky to be here, that's for sure. Oh, oh, oh that's there we go. That one looks nice. Looks beautiful, nice catch. Okay, it's been an incredibly slow night here, but we got the big troll going on. Looks like we've got a decent lake right here. It's hard to tell because it's almost pitch black out. What do you think, Paul? Beautiful. That is a nice northern Ontario lake trip right there. Awesome. Mm. Hey, buddy. Where you go? Gone. Nice fish. So we are back at camp and it is time to do the Bailey's, Forty Creek, and what's the other one? Wayne Gretzky. Wayne Gretzky taste test. So Paul's gonna go ahead first here. He's gonna pour all three for me, and then maybe I'll pour all three for him. We'll show you guys what we're pouring. We'll tell you what we like more. I don't think you can go wrong with any one of these because they're all gonna be damn good, but Let's see what the best one of the bunch is. Okay, Paul, away you go. Okay, so I'm pouring up three rounds for Keenan. The first one's gonna be uh, this one. Focus, there it is. Get that in this cup. The second one's gonna be right here. You guys can figure out what it is. And last but not least is this cup here. Paul's left the building. We're gonna put this one here. It's number one. This one here. It's gonna be number two. Our favorite, maybe. This guy right here is number three. Good too. Like they're all good. This one I, I like more though. It's just got a little bit more of a hmm, bit of a punch to it. So very interesting. <laughs> I don't know. I, I'm thinking that this is Bailey's. Okay. I'm thinking this is 40 and this is 99. That's Bailey's. That's Bailey's. Yep. Is that what I said? Yep. Okay. Um, that's 40. Really, that's 40. Yep, and that's 99. Hmm. Th those two are both really good. Bailey's definitely is not quite as good, is it? 
I don't know. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, okay. so. Hmm. Okay. First, second, third. First, second, third? Yeah. So you got Bailey's? This is my first? No. No, that's. That's, you said you didn't like that one the most. Oh, you crazy. Said, You're right. So that, that's Bailey's. That's 40. Okay. And that's 99. Exact same. This, this one was 40? Yep. Yeah. 40. <laughs> That's funny, isn't it? <laughs> that is funny. Yeah, yeah. And like we could both tell that Bailey's was Bailey's. That's interesting. And and honestly, I like forty ninety nine. There's not much in between them, but I do think that forty has a little bit of a more of a kicker. Yeah. For sure, it does. It's funny because we have the least amount of ninety nine, and we have the most amount of Bailey's. Left. <laughs> <laughs> but forty was number one, whatever one that one is. Yeah, it's hard to complain though. Yeah. How are we going to make out today? Uh, hopefully very well. Are we going to head to the east end of the lake or the west? Uh, this side is all the Hey Paul, what's uh, what are you using today for rod and reel setup? <laughs> I call this one lucky. It's uh, it's a micro light. <laughs> yeah. Despite its size, it can pull in some pretty big. Fish. Oh, it's nice. It's yeah. nice. So, what what brand is that one? It's Bass Pro. Bass Pro Special. Yeah. Yeah, old lucky. Reel capacities. Fairly impressive. <laughs> Fairly impressive. I've seen you uh, spool that now on about three consecutive casts. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> but for of... some reason, yeah, it's able it's able to get the big guys in. So. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. It makes the little guys feel like big guys. <laughs> <laughs> nice work, buddy. Yeah, nice, another one to Lucky. Lucky strikes again. Cast it out there. We're just, uh, I was changing a treble out for a single hook. And pulled. Looks like he's got a nice little, yeah, that's a, that's a lake trout, right? Yeah, I think so. It's yeah. Right the lake trout. Nice. Beautiful. Let's see him. Nice fish. That is a beautiful fish, Paul. Wow. Right on. Awesome. Way to go, buddy. Oh, bonus, eh? Bonus lake trout. And this water is just so cold that the second you put almost all these fish down, they're just gone. So, awesome. Nice work, Paul. Trout? I think it's trout. How'd you catch a trout on a pike fish? <laughs> awesome. Okay, we're on to some nice fish here, Paul. Yeah, perfect. That's the 14th of the day. The third trout. How those little forearms feel, Paul? <laughs> <laughs> Paul was actually complaining a lot yesterday that he said he's got a trick one of the gym. His arms are getting pretty sore. Fish. Not bad, eh? Beauty, buddy. Another gorgeous lake trout. Can't beat them. Awesome. Nice, another one, buddy. Another trout. Man, they're feeding like crazy right now. Another lake trout. The smaller ones we've caught here, right? It's feisty. Yeah. yeah. They're all beautiful. Cool. Another lake or ball. You said 
you were getting hit <coughs> too, eh? Just a second ago. Yep. Back up a little. Oh. Just Dude. amazing. Such good fighters. Beautiful. Look at somebody took a little uh, chunk of his tail off there. Holy moly. Yeah, maybe a pike or something at some point. Kind of cool. Okay, we go, buddy. That's a nice, that is a nice lake trout there. Okay, way you go, buddy. Another excellent start to the morning. We're at uh, just under 30 fish. We've had some really nice lake trout, a couple decent pike, lots of small pike as well. But for our last day here, things are looking good. And we got another, I don't know what time we're going to end today, Paul. When it's dark, I think yesterday we shut her down at maybe 10 o'clock or 9.30 or something like that. Well, it was probably 10 o'clock, so lots more fishing to come. What's for lunch today, Paul? <laughs> Crap dinner and smokies. Right on, man. And some fried onions. Look at that. Smokies with onions. You're off. Paul's expertly grilling the buns, toasting them up. And the classic. We figure we're gonna be out there for a while. This is a classic meal that every good fisherman knows about. This is the Smokies with Onion and Original Craft Dinner special. Okay, so the guys that show Walters are officially pretty well the coolest guys going. Oh, that is really cool, man. That is such a cool thing to see. If you haven't been on a flying trip ever, you gotta do it once, even just for the plane, the plane trip, watching them fly over you, that's really cool. Mr. Sunscreen himself. <laughs> in a thunderstorm. <laughs> yep, it's gonna rain here in a couple minutes, so we're in full go mode. The next couple of fish we get, they're definitely gonna be eaters. Nice fish though, Paul. <laughs> you gotta love that. I got a pretty heavy drag on too. Okay, we're eating tonight. Nice, nice fish ball. Thank you. Nice. Maybe Keenan cut the rest of dinner. Looks like a little guy. There we go, dinner plate. <laughs> That's a nice fish. Lovely. Yeah, perfect. Okay, it's just starting to rain right now. It looks like we've got a bit of a storm coming in. It's supposed to be, it's supposed to be pretty miserable tomorrow, I think. So we're wondering whether our flight's gonna be canceled. We're supposed to go to Hammer, Hammerhead Lake, it's called. 
and I'm not sure how far of a flight it is. I don't think it's that far, but I guess there's a forest fire that's not far from there. So we're just waiting to hear back from Eddie to see if we can go in there. But if not, we are more than happy to stay here and it might even be better here. I don't know. I don't think you can go wrong. So we'll see what happens, but we'll keep fishing until we get pushed off the water. Looks like things are starting to clear up a little bit. Time to go get the lake trout. Well, it doesn't really get any nicer than this. This is like heaven right now. Holy lordy. It's flat as a pancake. We're watching the odd trout drop up and down. Pretty damn nice. Paul's got his first leg shirt on Lucky. <laughs> oh. oh no! Paul. He spit it. What happened, man? I got to the boat. I just couldn't finish. Oh, dude. Nice lake trout, Paul. Huh? That's a beauty. <laughs> look at, look at the flex in the rod. <laughs> look, at, look at, oh my god. Oh, are you kidding me, Paul? <laughs> Paul, how did he get off? What happened? Where's your lure? Too. That's brutal. Hands on. Okay. After old Lucky's performance there, hopefully this one can do it. And don't snap your rod. <laughs> <laughs> We've been going with the uh, gold and red tonight. Daddy, back up. Yeah, gold and red's the color tonight. Yeah. They just seem to be loving it right now. There he is. Nice fish. That he proved. That's with a couple hour rain delay. Yeah. But yeah. Look at it now. Just glassy. Gorgeous. Doesn't get any nicer. Oh, he's on it. He's on it. Look at him. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> it's like fishing with Bob Azumi at the, <laughs> at the bow. <laughs> Just look at the look at the technique. <laughs> <laughs> Handle! <laughs> oh, Paul! Look at that! You don't like they don't teach that. <laughs> they don't teach <laughs> that technique anywhere. Okay. It's a nice one, though. That is beautiful. Awesome. Little guy. Beautiful Little guy, fish. but still nice, man. That's a nice fish. Nothing wrong with that. No? Steady? Okay. Approved. That was a workout. Another fish on. Another trout. Tonight is going to be a good night. Oh, yeah, that's a trout. Yeah, it is. 
Like I know it's no lucky. Holy God. How lucky wouldn't let line run out <laughs> like that. <laughs> Every time it comes up, it sees Betty. <laughs> yeah. Look at these fish. <laughs> the boat. That is fish, I believe, 35 of the day. Not bad after a rain out. How's that? Oh god, beautiful. Another one. Nice fish, brother. Gorgeous, buddy. Another, this one looks like a decent lake trout. This might be the biggest one of the day. Hit it, went completely airborne. Awesome. You can see on this guy here, he's been whacked by probably a pike at some point. Kind of beaten up, but gorgeous. Then you're on your way. <laughs> How's this for night, Paul? I know. This is insane. The wow. fog on the water, it's just, it's so cool. It doesn't, it's one of those nights where if the fishing sucks, it still doesn't really matter. But it doesn't suck. But it doesn't suck. Another beauty, Paul. That's actually a decent one. Nice fish. Probably a four or five pounder. That's nice fish. Where you go? What number is this, Paul? 37. 37. Okay, we gotta get back in the water. Here we go. Okay, we're up to damn near 50 fish now. It's almost impossible to film because we both seem to just keep hammering these lake trout. It's pretty unbelievable. I don't know if I've ever had trout fishing like this before. It's seriously, it's like every 15 seconds there's another trout on your line, so. It's pretty awesome, isn't it? Like this is pretty insane. Yeah, the, the, like, the kind of misty, like the pink sunset, trout slamming your lure every minute. It's just fantastic, holy God. Welcome to show, Walter, sir. <laughs> we'll be back. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay, we're at, uh, we're at 50 right now. I don't even know if this will show up because it's, it's almost black. What? Oh my god. Another. Oh. 
Beautiful. 50. Crazy good fishing. This is great. This is insane. This is probably some of the best. I I don't know. I don't know how much better it can really get because it's just one after another after another after another. It's crazy. So so cool. Way you go, buddy. Cheers. Cheers. Awesome day of fishing, buddy. That was Thanks, top man. Too. notch, man. Oh, it's it does not get much better. Wish I had a fishing partner that could kind of keep up, but like, honestly, it was nice that you were up front at least holding the bow down. Yeah, well, if I had a partner that could put us on the fish, that'd be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Not just the right side. Okay, we just got out here, trolling for, how long have we been trolling for, Bo? 30 seconds. Yeah, <laughs> less than a minute. Got this little guy on, well, little, it's probably a three and a half pound lake trout. So, way to go, buddy. So we were supposed to be going to Hammer uh, Hammerhead Lake today, but there's a, there's been a forest fire over there. So unfortunately, we're not able to make it there. On the positive side, I think we're at one of the best lakes I've ever fished, so I'm not disappointed at all, and truth be told, I'd much rather fish for trout all day than, than walleye any day of the week, and this is a this is a lake trout lake, so you cannot go wrong. So we're going to keep going. First fish of the day, and it was a beauty. Under a minute of trolling, we've got three fish now. Paul, we just had a double header. So Paul just got his off. Oh. There he goes. It's all good. Easy release. Again, we've been trolling for probably under a minute now and had four fish. Insane. This is insane. Crazy. How cool is that, Paul? Pretty cool. Yeah. That thing is moving. It, they, yeah, they haul ass. Or they, they really go. <laughs> Tied himself up. Uh oh. It's okay. Nice fish, though, Paul. Thanks, buddy. That's number eight of the day. Eight fish. Okay, keep rolling. They're hammering us. We're on fish number 10 now. Fishing's been crazy good this morning. Something about the sound, eh? <laughs> Peel and drag, baby. We've been casting for lake trout in the shallows here. Paul's got a nice little pike on. Beauty, Paul. That's not a bad size. No. Little feller. Nice fish. So we casted for lake trout. We caught, what did we get? Four lake trout casting? Back to back to back. Back to back to back. Had like a triple header. Insane. Casting for lake trout. And I don't even think we're in 10 feet of water here. There's some tree pollen on top of the water. And I don't know. They just seem to be hanging out right here. Maybe there's little bugs or something they're picking off. But it doesn't get much better. Paul switched to the Cyclops. And he's got another beauty. Yeah. Look at that. Nothing wrong with that, man. Nice fish, dude. Okay, we're on fish 24, I want to say, here. Yep. Another, another beauty. 
God, you gotta love it here, eh? Hey, Paul, what fish are we at now? 42. 42, buddy. Nice looking pike. Yeah, nice little pike, eh? Look at that guy. Okay, right on. Back he goes. Beautiful. Okay, 49th fish of the day. Not a bad, uh, not a bad little pike. Where you going, buddy? Well, how was today's fishing? It was pretty good. It's pretty good. He had a pretty hot lure there. I couldn't keep up at the end. Well, wow. we caught 50, what, 56 fish? Yeah, 56. Almost at, we had 57 on the line. It's kind of waiting for oh. you to film it and then. Gone. Yeah. Still, but, record day. Yeah, man, that's, that's a good day. Hard to complain about that. Yeah, it was a miserable day, but the fish made it work. Yeah, absolutely. Good morning. Morning of day seven here. We've been out on the water for a minute or two. We've already got our first lake trout of the day. Beautiful fish. You just can't beat that. So. Awesome, it's gonna be a big day. We only have today and one more day, so we're gonna make it count. Big numbers today, Paul. I literally was just putting the other fish on the stringer there. Paul cast it out. Good job, buddy. That was a nice lake. Flatline trolling little spoons. I've got a little uh, EDB on right now. You caught yours on, what did you have, a fire tiger? Yeah, a little minnow. Not that you're enjoying it. Peter, man, I love it here. Nothing wrong with that one, buddy. Beautiful. This is probably Paul's slayer lure right here. He's he had a bit of a hot streak there a couple days ago that was hard to beat. It was, what would you say, every 15 seconds you had another <laughs> trout on? It was unreal. It was, wild there, yeah. it was insane. Show us, show the lure. Show us the lure, Paul. Real quick. White fish. There you go. Look at that guy. Perfect. Okay, nice fish, buddy. Well, I think this one might actually take your arm off. Okay, let's see if we can land this guy. Oh yeah, baby. That was a 
nice fish. Look at that fish, Paul. <laughs> the head on the guy is unbelievable. I know. It's crazy, isn't it? Yeah. Beautiful. Okay. Away he goes. Another nice pike on. Holy Paul, that's a beauty. Oh, good, good. Yes. Oh, I'm ready. Be ready. I, I, I don't know. All I know is I'm ready to see him. He's running the show. Oh, I know, I know, Look at I know. this guy. You gonna be able to handle that with little irons like that, Paul? Let's see him, and then we'll get this big boy back in the water. Look at that. <laughs> like you gotta <laughs> love that, Look at right? the size of his head, eh? Look at that. Mm. That's awesome. fantastic, buddy. Unreal. What a beautiful fish. Let's get him back. Okay, okay, okay. You ready? He's gone. I've well, been fishing all day today, it's been unreal. Everywhere we go. Hey, exactly what we want, everywhere we go. <laughs> beautiful. Awesome, man. Let's keep her rolling. That is a beautiful fish. There he goes. We'll get a fight left in him. Oh, yeah. He's healthy. Cold water too. They it's 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 easier letting fish go. There you go. As you can see the them. <laughs> ah, that was fun. Another big pike, Paul. This guy feels angry. Would you be? Pike fishing in here is crazy today. It's a beautiful. 14 plus pound northern pike. Absolutely gorgeous animal. Beautiful, beautiful fish, Paul. Look at him. He's got some cuts on him. Obviously, something bigger than him. He's trying to. <laughs> oh, yeah. Poor guy. Had a rough go lately. Right on, man. Awesome fish. That is amazing. Gorgeous. Like, just crazy. Crazy good fishing in here. Like, look at that guy. Just a beauty. We're almost at more or less 60 fish for the day. Another beautiful lake trout to end the day, possibly, unless we get one on the way back to the cabin. But God, the fishing is good today. Just another beautiful, beautiful trout. Hey, buddy. Eagle. Paul, what are you uh, making here, buddy? <laughs> I'm making a lot of potatoes for two people. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you mean to tell me that these are all potatoes? <laughs> About three onions, yeah. That's uh, that's impressive. I like the cut of your jib. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to fly it out of here. Look at that. Awesome. Get waste. Did you steal those gloves from Tracy or? Amazon baby. <laughs> so Paul, how was the fishing today? I keep saying it, but it was the best day yet. Yeah. <laughs> Keeps getting better. Pike are bigger. Trout are feistier. Like, nothing to complain about. It's so good here. It's so good. Honestly, 
fished a lot of places. This is right up there. Like, this is top notch. Yeah, for sure. Awesome. Cheers. Cheers. Awesome Good. day. Like, really awesome day. Fishing was. Pretty unreal. Yeah. Dinner looks damn good. Need a bit of catch up though. Awesome. <laughs> It is our last morning. Well, it's actually not morning anymore, but it's our last day on Pine Needle Lake. It was absolutely miserable here all morning. It just stopped raining. It's probably after two o'clock right now. And we're gonna head out. What do you want to hit up first, Paul? Uh, go to the lake trout hole over here, I guess. You want the trout hole? Paul wants trout, so let's go get some and then we'll hammer some. See if those big pike are still hiding out in that base. There he is. <laughs> Too nice bad. fish, Paul. Yeah, pretty orange, eh? Nice fish. Stop by. Beautiful. There we go. So I just caught another lake trout. It's got a big, looks like a pike's grabbed them. Probably right by the tail. I pulled free. Yeah. Looks like clone. Yeah, it's all it's starting to heal up, but kind of neat. Way you go, buddy. Light is turned on. Mr. Grumpy over here. <laughs> well, guy finally found oh my god, was he been miserable this afternoon? Got a nice one here, beautiful. Another gorgeous, and this may be the last one of the trip, so what a beautiful, beautiful fish to end it off on. Way he goes. All right, well, cheers, man. It's cheers. been a friggin' awesome trip. Like, honestly, some of the best fishing I've ever had. Mm -hmm. It doesn't really not get much better than than this. Whatever, good for the most part. A couple rough days, but yeah, awesome, buddy. So, thanks for coming. Appreciate it. No, it's fun. Thanks yeah. Me. Let's eat. Let's eat. It is our last day on Pine Needle Lake and we're going to show you uh, the lures that we were using that we had the most success with. So Paul, where's your tackle kit? It's way over there. Holy grace, you got to do everything for this guy. What one is it? Oh yeah. Here, I never bring a backpack tackle kit with me. Everything was already laid out, eh? No, I, I didn't want to do it. I really was laid out. packed up. Yep. A little less attitude, a little more. Show me the lures, Paul. I didn't use many lures. Didn't catch many fish either. But... Blew you out of the water. <laughs> Anyone can catch small fish. <laughs> Walk us through it, Paul. Pretty well, just use spoons all week. Paul's a big spoon, man. Not, not in the cabin. He was trying to. He wishes. <laughs> <laughs> nice little map cyclops. Okay, and that was what one did you? What species did you go after for that lure? Pike. Big okay. dirty pike, he says. This is another one, dirty pike. All right. Just hand them. What's that one? The Williams, I think. Size six sixty. Size sixty wobbler in the fire tiger pattern. Yep. Okay. And these seem to hit the uh, trout pretty well. Pretty flashy. Yeah, those were actually uh, dynamite, weren't they? Both, both colors worked really well. Little William spoons, yeah, they love the flashy stuff. And then, yep. Yeah, that's pretty much all I use. 
Little shod dancer? Yeah. Okay. They're a little deeper. Probably 10 feet. Yeah. They're a nice lure though. They Oh, they dance their little hearts out. <laughs> they bring in the fish. <laughs> Oh, they're, not. they're like the smaller version of you, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're not. Everything else is a waste. Yeah. It's funny. You bring so much stuff with you on all these trips, and you end up using like two lures the whole time, right? So I'll show you uh, what I used here. So out of the Rapala style, basically we only the only one I used was this guy here. So this is a live target jointed smelt. It's got really good action, doesn't dive very deep, I think three to five feet. And I used the, as I said, the purple color, I always used this color too, and I did catch a few fish, but the, the purple color seemed to work really well. The other spoons that I used a lot of, like probably my, my main one, was this guy here. Which is a EGB, I think it's a size four, and uh, I think the color is the color pattern. I can't remember what it's called, but you can look it up online. The EGB spoons, they've just got such a nice action in the water. They're a little bit heavier. So they, sometimes when you're trolling light spoons, they end up on top of the water and you're not, you're not aware of it. These guys always stay down and they cast really well too. So if you're using them for, say you're piking and, or you're fishing for pike in the shallows, you can cast with these excellent. There's one that's got the little red blinker, I think they're called on it, or I don't know what these little tabs are with a treble, but we switch a lot of our lures out to singles. So Paul talked about his Fire Tiger Lure. <clears throat> this is a, a Williams Bully, I believe. What size is that? I don't know what size it is. It's not, it's not very big. Single hook again. Cast a mile. Great spoon. Lots of, lots of color. Good action. So, these are Moonshine Lures. And if you guys are going to fish at night at all, these babies are dynamite. They work really, really, really well. They, you charge them up with uh, either a headlamp or your cell phone um, flashlight, whatever you got. And the, the glow in the dark action you get with these is awesome. So for nighttime fishing, these things are perfect. Williams Whitefish, that was another one we used a lot. And it works awesome. Pike and Lake Trout both slam this thing quite a bit. And probably of all the lures, I probably had the most success with this guy here, which is just a smaller version of this one. I would say we definitely caught a lot more fish on this one than this one, but they both worked really well. That was that was basically all we used for the whole trip. And we caught what was our best day, Paul? Right around 60 fish. 60 fish. And honestly, probably could have caught quite a few more. We just were exploring different parts of the lake. And if we would just stuck to the parts of the lake we knew, and we knew where the fish were and how to get them, we probably could have caught. Honestly, if you put in a really long day, a hundred fish day is not out of the question here, I wouldn't think. I, I think that it'd actually be really achievable. If you get up early and spend a lot of time on the water, and have a partner that actually helps out. Yeah. It'd be uh, it'd be handy.
this will basically wrap this video up guys i want to thank you very very much for watching and um, feel free to leave lots of comments we really hope you guys enjoyed the video it's a lot of fun out here if you guys ever get the opportunity to visit one of eddie show walter's camps i cannot recommend it enough i've been to uh, a decent number now of fly-in uh, camps this one is by far my favorite well it's 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 the fishing here is excellent lake trout fishing is dynamite the pike fishing is top-notch eddie's service is fantastic even even something as simple as doing a pre-flight briefing letting you know where your life jackets are the emergency escape plan it might not seem like very much but eddie's a very professional dude and and um nothing in this video is sponsored this is all our own thoughts our own opinions and <clears throat> yeah again just want to thank eddie he's done a fantastic job here so as i said hopefully you guys enjoyed and we'll see you on the next episode Thank you.